boy, Reagan, Reagan gets into the Ambrose and around goes Marcos. Yeah, his car shut up, shot up the racetrack and just got right in the side of the 47. Get it going, get it going. No caution yet. And he will get it going. We stay green. Boy, Tony Stewart was sure hoping yeah. that, that that would have been a caution. Let's have another look at this one. Watch the, uh, the 47 and the six and the double O. Plenty of contact to go around here. This is. Reagan bounced off the curb and into Ambrose. But I think it all started with a little help from Rudiman. Oh, he's around this time, though, off turn four. Hold it up. And this time there's a caution. I believe he's got a tire, he may have a tire down or something because he just spun around that time. It's the ninth flag of the day. Flat left side tire, we're told, for Marcus Ambrose. Let's show you the second spin. Yeah, he just they got it. It's got a tire down. I think that right left rear, left rear was down in. The, yeah, you can see it there. I think. And you saw Tony Stewart go by, so <laughs> he was very glad to see the caution finally come out. Well, what they do, the rear end of the housing is on eccentrics. It's uh, where the trailing arms mount to the chassis, and you can loosen those bolts and move that rear end forward and half. And apparently, that's what they did. We've had several drivers with multiple tire issues today. Let's get out of Jeff Hammond. Mike, we've been talking all day long about the brakes and how they kind of affect the tires as well as the brakes here at Marginal. Now, we've already discussed these rotors. They can get temperatures up to 1,400 degrees because of these brake pads, which they get 2,000 degrees at that point. And Larry McReynolds and Daryl have been talking about it all day. When you lose the bead, right in here is where the problem begins. This sits right close to the rotor itself. So when you start thinking about baking this part of the tire with over 1,000, 11, 1,200 degrees of temperature, what happens eventually, it starts to melt. And when it melts that bead, eventually it explodes. And that's what's been happening to so many tires here at Martinsville today. And Goodyear made a tire change, and the biggest change they made was to the construction of the right side to try to help that, but you can only overcome so much of that heat. That wheel, when you put the wheel on these race cars at Martinsville particularly, with the size brakes in there, it, it, it is absolutely packed, right? I mean, there's, you can hardly get a feeler gauge of 100 thousandths between the calipers and the wheels themselves. All that heat transfers right into the wheel. 